Groundbreaking clinical trial starting right here in Cleveland, and researchers are looking for participants in this News 5 original. Homa Bash shows us what they're trying to accomplish that no one has done before. What we have here are basically the different neuronal activities that we would see. What's happening inside the basement at the Cleveland VA Hospital will one day change lives. This is the Functional Electrical Stimulation Center, or FES for short. And in here, researchers work to give people who are paralyzed their mobility back. They can do function. They can do functions of daily living. It gives them some independence. Dr. Robert Kirsch and Dr. Bolu Ajiboye are leading the way with new technologies, specifically working with people who have spinal cord injuries. They just received a $3 million grant from the Department of Defense to start testing their interface and begin clinical trials right here in Cleveland. Now, this involves a team of doctors and researchers from FES, Case Western Reserve, and university hospitals. What we do uh, uniquely, like nobody else does, is that we actually are connecting the brain to the, to the body. This, in the most layman of terms, is how they do it. Every time you do a different movement, your brain sends a distinct pattern of signals. Now the researchers are inserting small electrodes into the brain to record those patterns. And then that signal, that electrical signal, is fed through this cable. And we can then tell from analyzing those signals what the person is attempting to do, and then we stimulate the muscles to do that. The program is called Rehab, which stands for reconnecting the hand and arm to the brain. I personally work on, on this type of technology because I feel like it really creates, it really has a, a potential to impact people's lives on a very personal level. They are currently looking for 12 people to participate in this clinical trial. People from the Cleveland area who suffer from chronic paralysis. After a few years, they can begin to expand it and the hope is someday they can make this technology widely available for the people who need it. Homa Bash, News 5.